for India from a foreign investor. We are getting you the best opinion, perhaps, uh, uh, from Chris Wood, the uh, chief equity strategist at CLSA. His views on India under a Donald Trump regime and the consequences of demonetization. Hear him out. India, in my view, um, is, is structurally less impacted negatively by this emerging market debt sell-off because India never really profited from it. The rupee, rupee hasn't had a big rally this year. But actually, what's interesting right now with this demonetization move announced by Prime Minister Modi is that actually, while that's a negative for equities in the short term because sure. growth is going to slow, particularly in certain sectors, for the bond market and the currency, we think demonetization is a positive. A lot of, a lot of market participants are factoring in a GDP cut uh, from 7.4, 7.5% to all the way to 6.5% in Q3 and not more than 7% in Q4. Uh, with that sort of cut in the, in the GDP growth and earnings not supportive for the next two quarters, is India valuation looking attractive enough for you to still no, do no, it? Indian equities are clearly vulnerable <laughs> from, that, from a growth standpoint right now because sure. valuations are quite high. The hope was that earnings were finally bottoming and picking up. Um, but there is one compensating factor, that is that the currency should be stable. And we are now forecasting, I believe, three rate cuts yes. next year, which is probably not consensus, because what we are anticipating is that this demonetization move will lead to an increase in deposits in the banking system. That should uh, both stabilize the currency and it should give a greater potential for banks to pass on rate cuts to borrowers and basically should lead to a further decline in inflation.